Let's talk Xavier Howard. The trade rumors continue around the superstar Dolphins cornerback. His situation, it doesn't appear to be getting any better. Now, I don't think it's a huge surprise. There hasn't been much progress, but the lack of progress is still a story, I think, around the NFL. And if you're tired of it, Dolphins fans, I'm sorry, don't shoot the messenger. The trade rumors are everywhere, and NFL Network said, Mike Silver, before he went to go with the Washington football team, that several teams, contending teams, by the way, are interested. And it makes sense why the Dolphins don't want to pay him, but a trade, the longer this drags out, does feel at least possible. Now, Bleach Report threw out four different Xavier Howard trade destinations. The Saints, who apparently do have interest in the event that he becomes available. The Eagles, who have the assets but are also bad, so, you know, who knows. The Arizona Cardinals, who I think are the best fit right now for Xavier Howard. And then the Cleveland Browns, who don't love that fit, to be honest there. But what do you guys think? What do you want to do with Xavier Howard? Are you fed up with him wanting a new contract when he's got four years left on his deal and you just want the asset at this point? Or do you want to keep him? Do you want to keep him on the, the roster and find a way to keep him happy, get him a big deal, give him more guaranteed money, whatever, and have arguably the best corner in the NFL? Which route would you rather go if you are the Miami Dolphins? Get your votes in for me right now, folks in the comment section. Type in K for keep or T for trade. Now, in the event that you trade Howard, I think a minimum, you should get a first round pick back. And if it's not a first and change, I'd be kind of surprised. Yes, you have to pay Xavier Howard. And yes, that brings down the value that you might otherwise get if you were still super cheap or you were paying a bunch of his contract overall. Dolphins wouldn't have that much dead money. But Howard's coming off an elite year. If he's not number one, he's probably somewhere in that top five or whatever among best corners in the NFL. Yeah, he allowed 719 yards and had four touchdowns as well. His interceptions, though, were 10. His pass breakups were 20. Xavier Howard was awesome last season. With that said, as good as Howard was, I completely understand why the Dolphins are like, no, why would we give you a new deal? And I get that Byron Jones, his teammate, is a higher paid player than Xavier Howard. And Howard might not like that very much. And he got him beat by a, by a little uh, a million and some change there. But when Howard signed his deal, even though it is now almost $5 million behind on the average per year, Jalen Ramsey at $20 million, when Howard signed his deal... He was the highest paid corner in the NFL. And I know he's no longer top five in the NFL at his position. But you know what? He's got four years left on his contract. So I get Miami's like, eh, I don't know if, if we want to set you up there. Now, maybe the Dolphins can do what the Patriots did with Stephon Gilmore and Julio Jones did with the Falcons where like, okay, Xavier. We will guarantee you some more money. We'll play around with when the money gets paid to you because we want to keep you happy and we want to keep you. If Howard's prepared to do that, okay, I'm intrigued by that. But if Howard wants a full-fledged new deal, then it might make more sense for Miami to say, you know what? No, we'll trade you instead. All right, Dolphins fans, don't get too mad at me at this one. I am just the messenger. It's not my fault, but the Deshaun Watson trade rumors are back once again. A report from Adam Beasley, now over at Pro Football Network, says the Dolphins still have some interest if, of course, Deshaun Watson's serious and lingering legal issues off the field end up getting resolved. That's a major question mark around his future and if he even plays football this year. Here's what Beasley wrote, though. Quote, we're told the Dolphins have enough lingering questions about Tua's ability and future that they would still consider trading for Houston Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson if his legal situation is somehow resolved in time for the 2021 season. That, of course, is an enormous if. I don't think anyone really knows what's going to happen with Deshaun Watson this year if he even plays a game this season. Now, we do have some Watson odds for you guys. Texans plus 210, and then Miami plus 250. And I know you Dolphins fans don't like that. 
I understand. We'll get to it more in depth here. Jets and Broncos plus 300. Panthers plus 600. I don't know why the Niners are on here, but okay. Raiders plus 2,000. Patriots plus 2,000. As well, like I said, I did have to move Mac Jones in a potential trade. So I know I'm going to get plenty of TTs for this next question, but I want you guys to pick a quarterback for me. I'm going to defend Tua here in just a second, but get your votes. And if you ran the Dolphins, let's say legal issues notwithstanding, because that makes it very complicated, and understandably, if you don't want Deshaun because of it, I get it. Pick one. Type TT for Tua or type DW for Deshaun Watson. Now we'll get to Tua, but Deshaun Watson I think is what the Dolphins are hoping Tua can become. Even though the Houston Texans were bad last year, Watson was not. He completed over 70% of his passes, 4,800 yards, 33 touchdowns, 7 INTs, a great QBR. If it were not for the off-the-field issues, as Watson apparently is still trying to force his way out of Houston because that's just been a cluster of an offseason for Deshaun, a lot of bad stuff there. Watson would be a top five quarterback. It's understandable why even if the Dolphins believe in Tua, which I still do, they would have interest in getting the sure thing. Now, I want to make it clear. I am not out on, on Tua. I still believe he can be a franchise quarterback, and I know many of you Dolphins fans watching agree with me. I don't think Tua was set up for success last year. The offensive play calling was very different between Fitzpatrick and Tua. And on one end, that's fine. They got different strengths and weaknesses. But also, you can't baby a quarterback in today's NFL, especially when you're the Dolphins and you're a good football team. You got to know. Now, if the Dolphins decide, you know what, we don't believe in Tua, which I'm not there yet, but if they do, they have assets. A first-round pick this year via San Francisco – Two first-round picks next year, one via the Niners, the other via the Miami Dolphins, or the, themselves, I should say, and then two second-round picks. On top of that, as the Dolphins are dealing with the Xavier Howard trade drama, that's a pretty damn good asset for Houston. Uh, reportedly, from earlier reports, the Texans like Xavier Howard, and they would have interest in getting him. Now, again, all of this depends on what the legal issue stuff is with Deshaun Watson. Like, if he gets suspended by the NFL or if, or if he did it, like, you don't want him on your team. Like, that's a that's a no-go for the Miami Dolphins. But if you do, if Watson gets cleared legally, it's all good, then it makes some sense. And Howard could actually be a trade chip for Deshaun Watson if that's the route, not saying they will or they should, if that's the route the Dolphins choose to go.